talked about jobs, and that's the fourth one that, um, that this autonomous mining working group um, is looking at, is the communication with workforce and local community. Because mines already, mines already have a challenge. Yes, they getting do. off the ground, and now you're going to go into a community and say we're <laughs> we don't need um, people anymore. We three hundred vehicles, but we only need thirty jobs. Yeah, <laughs> that's you know, and you're talking about yeah. indigenous, um, excuse me, indigenous communities, the local communities. Yeah. and I mean, the mining a, mining is what kind of helps a lot of these communities kind of yeah. stay and 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 prog progress, mm -hmm. you know, uh, economically especially. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the their jobs are. Hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year <laughs> of plus in jobs, and yeah. and so you know you're going to put that money into autonomous vehicles, try to get a permit. So there's there's a lot of th so that that is they're going to be trying to, I'm sure part of their um, their strategy is going to be tr how do we communicate, how do we still make it beneficial, you know, how are they going to bill it or market it to these. Um, organize to these communities to say this is a this is a better system you still should approve it and the, just with the challenges that they're already having and the backlash and never mind that I mean th those are just the on the ground in the communities never mind what the media is doing to yeah. a lot of these mining companies and government policy is making it tough so even though the production may be better you're going to have to deal with probably more blow of blow blowback which is I would say the last thing yeah. <laughs> the mining industry needs. Oh, yes, so absolutely. Hopefully we get a chance to work with some of these companies.